Hello my friends. Today we're going to be drawing a love monster inspired by this fun book called Love Monster by Rachel Bright. Today all we'll need is a piece of white paper, a black crayon, and some other colors if you'd like. Let's get started. So if I'm looking at my love monster, I can see that it just shows the kind of the top part of his body. The rest of his body is down here, okay? So we'll start at the corner. We'll go up, down a little bit, over, 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 up, and down, okay? So let's start there. Start at the bottom of my paper with my black crayon. I'm going to draw a line kind of diagonal up, down sort of like a triangle, over, up, and back down. Next, we're gonna draw our love monster's big eyes. So I'm gonna draw two big circles, and they don't need to be the same size because actually on the book, they're not the same size. Then we need to draw the little black circle inside of his eye, which is his pupil and that's gonna show where he's looking. So do you want him looking to the side? Do you want him looking up, down? Maybe he's kind of looking crazy-eyed, uh, cross-eyed. Maybe he's being silly and one eye's up and one eye's down. I think my monster will be looking to the right. So I'm gonna draw my pupil, my little black circle looking over to the right. What does he see over there? I'm also going to draw some eyebrows. He's sort of looking. The eyebrows show um, expression. So my monster's eyebrows are tipped a little bit down to the side like he's, hmm, he's curious. He's wondering what is over there. Now I'm going to draw my mouth and you can draw a straight line for your mouth you can draw a little bit of a smile or a little bit of a frown. In the book, the love monster is sad in the beginning because he's looking for someone to love. So it's up to you how you want your mouth to be. My monster is gonna have a little bit of a smile, kind of a crooked smile. Then we're gonna draw his teeth. He has sharp triangle teeth. And you can draw as many as you want. I think I'll just do three, okay? And that's about it for my little love monster for now. I think I'm going to uh, um, go over my black lines again after I color. So for now, pick any color you want and color your love monster. that my monster is very furry. So I'm going to take my black crayon again and I'm going to first go over my eyes again to make them really stand out. I'm gonna go over my smile again to make it really stand out and my teeth. Then if I look at my love monster, I can see these little dash, little scratch marks, and that shows that he is very furry. So I'm gonna take my black crayon and I'm gonna make little marks all over to show his texture. Texture's the way something feels. And as artists, sometimes it's our job to make it look like it feels a certain way. Let 
Make sure you don't add any fur on his teeth or his eyes. That would be scratchy on his eyes and yucky on his teeth, huh? Now, he looks a little too smooth on the edges, so I'm gonna take my black crayon and I'm gonna kinda do this along the edges, make it a little bit not so perfect. Make it look like he's a little fuzzy and furry with that long fur. And it's looking pretty good, but I have a lot of empty space here. In the book, the love monster had a little heart right here on his body. But since we have extra space, I'm going to make a heart up at the top. If you're not sure how to make a heart, flip your paper over and practice. You can draw an M and a V. Try it again. M and connect it with a V. M two bumps and a V. Practice it a few times till you feel like you got it. And then flip over to the front and draw a nice big heart. If you don't wanna add a heart, that's fine. For the heart, you can color it in, you can leave it white, or you could even write a word on the inside. You could write your love monster's name, your own name, you could write mom or dad or someone you love. I think today I'm thinking about my happy doggy, so I'm gonna write my doggy's name, Nolly. I bet my love monster and my dog would be great friends. All right, it's looking beautiful. Now I want to still fill in some of this white space. So instead of coloring the whole thing like I colored my monster, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm gonna take some of my favorite colors of crayons and I'm going to carefully squiggle all over the background. Scribble and squiggle. And again, I'm doing it carefully so that I do not accidentally draw on my monster or inside my heart. I'm just scribbling, making loops and turns and twirls. I'm gonna choose another color and keep going. I'm not do being too crazy because I don't wanna take away from my monster. My monster is the main focus of this artwork. What I'm doing is just making it a little bit more interesting than just a white background. If you'd prefer to do something else, that's fine. Maybe you wanna make stripes or polka dots on your background, that would be fine. Maybe you wanna color in your heart. I'm gonna leave mine white today, but it might look nice colored too. I've added three colors. I think I'm gonna add one more color. Hmm, maybe some red. Now I have my cute, happy love monster. Can't wait to see yours.